So without further delay, let me just start with today's presentation. So the topic for today is curate your own style formula. Now this is basically uh, on styling and it is for uh, corporate wear, which includes a little bit of Indian wear. Now uh, Indians do celebrate uh, a lot of festivals around the year, which is the reason why I have included a little bit of uh, Indian wear uh, for the official, uh, uh, for the corporate styling. Uh, for those I have not introduced myself, let me just give a short introduction. Uh, I have been in the style and image uh, industry for a very long time, and uh, I have uh, trained the frontliner staffs in the field of hospitality. And uh, recently, I have been certified as international image uh, consultant from ISIM and Institute of Image Management. Also, the services which I offer would be the topics uh, which I would be covering on today's presentation. So this was the short introduction. And uh, without further delay, let me just start with the topic. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about what exactly is style. So style is a way to say who you are without having to speak. Now, this quote was famously written by American-based fashion designer and writer. Her name is Rachel Zoe. Uh, what we actually understand by this quote is through the mode of styling, how you present yourself to the audience, uh, your personality, you portray your personality in a way. And uh, it is done without having to speak. So this is just a small uh, definition, which I would like to uh, convey with regards to styling. And furthermore, I shall be able to let you know how important it is and what are the factors which affect on different areas of style. So the importance of styling is, uh, the. in my previous slide, I have already explained to you with regards to personality. It gives a hint of personality, as well as it gives a hint of your character and your current mood. Now, for example, uh, if you are going for uh, office uh, work and you are in a good mood, so you would dress, you would feel good and you would like to dress well. So with that, your confidence level gets increased. So not only you, the way you work, not only you, the, even the people around, even the entire environment around you would also behave or act in a manner the same way how you are with others, okay? So the uh, this was the first and foremost important, uh, importance of styling and which is explained in the last uh, point as well. If you dress good, you feel good and your confidence level is increased. At the same time, it shows a little bit of your creativity. Like supposedly if you are going for an interview and you are putting work or your skills to the first priority, and you are dressed in a way that you are quite of a classic style, and you are sticking to uh, the neutral colors like uh, black, navy blue, or white. So this itself gives a little bit of creativity because you're putting your uh, skills uh, in the as a first priority, and also the way how you are portraying yourself in terms of styling. Okay, so you are quite presentable and also you want to get hired by the organization. Okay, so these were the three points which I wanted to talk to you about. Now let's look into the styling, how styling can uh, change as per different factors. Now there are four different factors which I wanted to cover. First would be as per your body shape, how styling can change. As per the color chosen, it can also include the attire, the color of the attire, as well as your personal colors. So depending upon that, and the uh, styling in terms of your personality. And lastly, as per the lifestyle, if you're going for a red carpet event or for office wear or for a casual outing, even your styling will keep changing as and when required. Okay, so let's just go one by one. Before that, I would like to conduct a small activity. Now, I would like to ask each and every one, and if you can reply in the chat box. Okay, she's a very famous celebrity, uh, an actress, a Hollywood actress. Her name is Anne Hathaway. 
So if you can tell me if she is ready to even go for a red carpet event. Well, according to me, not at all. <laughs> okay, everybody has answered no. Uh, if you can tell me reason why. Well, you expect glamour and, uh, you know, a little bit of style and something that I would not see otherwise. <laughs> Yes, definitely. So, yeah, so Suhana and Anuradha has replied because of a casual look and her attire is not feasible for the event. Correct. So, definitely with the casual wear, she's not ready to go for a formal event like a red carpet event. Okay, so with the second picture. Just a second, my screen has got stuck. Yeah, so with the second picture, so now she will be able to go for a red carpet event, okay, to represent her movies or the series, whichever she's starring in. So looking at her uh, in the second picture, we will be able to understand that the lifestyle out here, it's attending an event and she has styled herself in such a way that it's not at all casual. Okay, it's quite formal. She stick to casual, uh, sorry, uh, the classic styling and the color combination which she has chosen is also a basic white color. Okay, so all the four factors, if we look into this example is applied in such a way that all the, all the four factors has been covered in one way or the other. Okay, I will, I will be able to explain you furthermore what exactly yeah, so uh, the first point would be on body shape, okay? So in order to know for you what kind of body shape you are fitting into, you need to conduct oh, one no. whole, uh, sorry? Has anybody asked any question? Okay, let me just continue. So in order to know for you to uh, know what kind of body shape you're fitting into, you need to conduct a small exercise on yourself, which would be measuring your body. Now with this, you just need one item and you can totally do it at home. Uh, you just need a measurement tape and it is applicable for both men and women. Okay, so you need to measure only three measurements. Firstly would be your chest measurement. The largest area around your chest would be taken as chest measurement. The slimmest area around your waist will be taken as measurement and largest area around your hip will be taken as your hip measurement. Now, depending upon these three readings, you will be able to classify yourself on what kind of body shape you are fitting into. Okay, for women, we have five kinds of body shape, namely hourglass, triangle, rectangle, inverted triangle and oval. And for men, Except for hourglass, we have oval, rectangle, triangle, and inverted triangle. Now, let me just explain what are the differences between each and every body shapes. Okay. Now, for as per the three readings which we have taken, for an hourglass, your chest measurement will be the same as your hip measurement. And your waist will be very slim. It will be very well defined. Okay. Now, for a triangle body shape, your hip measurement will have the largest reading than as compared to your waist and chest. Now for triangle body shape, in case if you have to uh, gain weight, then the maximum weight will be accumulated around hip region. And your shoulder as well as your arms will be quite slender and your neck will be quite elegant. Uh, now in Indian society, for women basically, Triangle body shape is the most commonly found body shape. Okay, so next we move on to rectangle. For rectangle body shape, all the three measurements, which includes your chest, waist, and hips, there will be hardly any difference between all the three. And these kind of body shapes are also called as an athlete body. Okay, because of your broad shoulder and broad hips. Now for an inverted triangle, now this body shape is very common amongst men. And inverted triangle will have a very broad shoulder and arms. 
and the measurement around your chest will be ha having the maximum reading than as compared to your waist and hips. Now, lastly, we talk about oval body shape. Oval body shape will have a very visual, very definite appearance of ovalness around the upper half of the body. Whereas if you compare the arms and legs, it will be very slim and slender. Okay, now why an oval body shape? There are, there are many reasons. This can be because of medical reason. It can be because of unhealthy eating and drinking habits and because of an obese uh, person. Okay, now the same uh, explanation applies for uh, men or body shapes as well. Okay, so the next slide is the differences which I've already talked to you about. Now let's look into each body shape, depending upon body shapes, how you can style yourself. Okay, so the first is triangle body shape. Now if we have a look at the triangle body shape, the maximum variation is around your hip area. Now you have to style your body in such a way that your variation, which is your hip area, is emphasized less, whereas the upper half of your body is emphasized more. So this was the formula applying, which, is, which has to be applied for triangle body shape, okay? So likewise, I have chosen an example here. If you have a look at the trouser, now, another thing for triangle body shape, you have to choose uh, I could hear some noise if everybody can keep themselves on mute. Thank you so much. So for triangle body shape, you have to choose a dark colored trouser just to hide the variations. Now, nothing better than darker color. Okay, and the styling will be absolutely flat front. And if you choose styles like wide legged or boot cut or straight cut, it is best suited for triangle body shape with variations. Okay, and the shirt which I have chosen out here, the detailing designs like uh, waist, uh, the belt around waist and designs around neckline. Now these small detailings will add definition towards your upper half of your body, okay? And the Indian attire, which I have chosen, is a normal uh, palazzo pant with uh, kurta. Now this kurta, because of detail, because of designs like uh, U neckline, the uh, long sleeve and the waistline being cut, which is away from area of variation, and also, if you see, there's a long slit and which is ending towards the end of the attire itself. Now, these small detailings are drawing attention from the area of variation. And what we call is uh, the uh, commonly used palazzo pant. You can totally wear it for such body shape. Okay, next we move on for men. For men, again, we have to choose solid dark color trouser. And if you're wearing a suit, uh, sorry, a blazer, then you can choose of same color family, can be of same color or one or two shades lighter or darker, what we call is a monochromatic color. Okay, now again, you need to hide the variation which is around hip region and other detailings like uh, the bright color shirt out here, I have chosen white, plain stark, plain white color and the tie which is in maroon in color and the small designs, which is all over the tie and also the pocket square. So all these small detailings will draw attention towards upper half of the region of your body, okay? Likewise, if you see for Indian wear, I have chosen one color, which would be black. And if you see, if you have a look at the jacket out here, the color combination, the pattern, the texture, the high color, all these small detailings, the eye, your eye is naturally driven towards your jacket, okay? So this was the formula for triangle body shape. Now let's move on to rectangle body shape. Now for rectangle body shape, uh, if you remember, I have explained the measurements between your chest, waist, and hip. There's hardly any difference. So the formula out here is, you have to either emphasize your upper half of the body, or you have to emphasize the lower half of the body, okay? For corporate styling, I have chosen a, a what we call as a 
trumpet style uh, dress okay now why a trumpet style because it adds depth towards your waist which gives definition and the style is ending in such a way that it adds a lot of flair towards the lower half now volume has been added towards your lower half and hence it is getting emphasized now let's look into indian attire now if you have a look at the blouse the sweet heart cut neckline the embroidery work done all over the blouse and even the belt okay which is around your waist now these definitions again will add sorry these detailings will again add definition towards the upper half of your body okay so this was about rectangle body shape for women for men again i have chosen for corporate styling a lighter color trouser now a lighter color will help highlight the area all the more okay now since there are the measurements are very minimal there's hardly any difference so which is the reason why i have chosen a lighter color trouser and the upper half i have chosen a stuck as in a contrasting color and your i have chosen a shirt in such a way that your eyes are naturally drawing attention towards the shirt because of the pattern the checkered style and the coloring like navy blue the color combination is navy blue and white okay so it is quite bright and the pattern itself is drawing attention and followed by you can team it up with this leather belt okay this will add definition towards your waist if you have a look at both the examples of indian wear now because of the floral print of the jacket the texture the embroidery work done all over the jacket your eyes are drawing attention towards it okay so you if for a rectangle body shape your def, your idea has to either emphasize your upper half or lower half which we are achieving right now okay so this was the formula for rectangle body shape now let's move on to inverted triangle body shape for an inverted triangle body shape uh, the chest measurement will have the largest reading and your shoulders will be quite broad okay as compared to your waist and hip it will have a very minimal reading now these types of body shapes are found mostly to uh, towards uh, men okay and uh, how to style now the formula out here is very simple okay uh, you can i have already mentioned you the darker color will reduce the variation okay so you, over here for corporate styling i have chosen for darker colored shirt collar shirt of variation which is happening towards your upper half of your body whereas if you compare the trouser the small small detailings like the pleated design and the belt region now this is itself giving slight volume towards your lower half now this is with this your lower half is getting emphasized okay so this these were the small examples which i wanted to highlight in with regards to inverted triangle body shape the, the example for indian wear now this example is also same can be applicable for rectangle body shape as well okay now she is wearing kurta of simple u neckline and uh, the a line cut and the embroidery work done all over it's quite simple whereas more definition is given towards your lower half because of the palazzo pant the flare design lot of volume okay so you can totally style with such an attire for an inverted triangle body shape if we have a look for men now for men those who have an inverted triangle body shape congratulations to everyone you can totally carry any kind of uh, styling any attire any coloring with regards to any coloring irrespective about it, okay so out here i have chosen a lighter skin color uh, suit set okay now lighter color will help emphasize and it has uh, i have teamed it up with a very uh, subdued combination of uh, colored uh, formal shirt okay and the tie the, the tie. now if you have a look at the tie now all the small detailings the shirt the tie now it is your eyes are naturally driven towards your upper half of the body and for men you want to show off your broad chest your shoulder your big arms okay so uh, 
even if you want to a uh, style with a darker color also it's totally fine now if you look into the indian wear i have chosen virat kohli for that okay both the examples now he is wearing on the first picture he is wearing a long kurta of a line cut and what we call this a churidar okay so for an inverted triangle you can carry off such uh, combination whereas if you have a look at the second picture the structured jacket which is creating your arms are sorry your shoulders are looking broad and even the maximum emphasis is happening towards your lower half okay what we call is a jodhpuri style flared up pants it has lot of flares lot of pleats and your eyes are naturally div driven towards the lower half of the pants okay and next we move on to oval body shape now for oval body shape i've already explained you the variation is happening mostly towards your upper half of the body whereas if you see your arms and your legs it's very thin now out here the formula is you need to emphasize either your arms your thin arms or your thin legs or it can be both okay so out here i have chosen an example for corporate styling a pencil style skirt which is quite narrow okay and it is ending in such a way that there is you could see a obvious an obvious lace uh, pattern at the end now this is pointing towards your legs okay now since you have a thin uh, slim legs uh, this will add all the more attention towards it okay it will reduce the appearance of your body being oval in shape and the shirt itself it is of dark color to hide all the to hide the variations basically and it is of a wrap around design now if you have a look at the indian wear now the detailings like the obvious slit cut which is towards pointing towards the leg and the cut waistline cut the detailing around the chest area the sleeves you would see at the elbow level there's a small design and there's a slight puff a uh, sleeves towards the end of your lower for a uh, lower arm now all the small detailings is drawing attention away from the area of variation which is towards uh, maximum towards your uh, stomach area okay so this was slight uh, the formula to apply for oval body shape now let's have a look into oval body shape for men now the trouser again i have chosen this of lighter color the lighter color will help area appear more even larger okay now the corporate shirt sorry the formal shirt which i have chosen is of a pin stripe design likewise you can choose pattern which is vert which is of a vertical style like out here i have chosen a pin stripe design now this design this pattern will help your body to look even more elongated than how it is normal okay and uh, the darker color jacket now again why a darker color because you want to minimize your maximum of variation which is around your stomach area okay now uh, another tip is that for oval body shape for men uh you can use suspenders to hold your trouser with your body okay and the indian wear which i have chosen is of one color family which is black in color okay and the overcoat the jacket if you see now there's lot of detailing which is happening around the jacket for example towards your uh, chest area your uh, collar towards the end end of sleeves and also around your shoes now all the small detailings is again drawing attention from variation and towards your chest your arms your legs okay so this was the formula for oval body shape now last let's just look into an hour glass body shape now this is applicable only for women not for men okay now hour glass body shape uh, there's absolutely uh, no formula as such okay now because you have the measurements like your chest measurements equal to your hip measurement and you have a very well defined uh, waistline 
you just have to select the outfit in such a way that it follows your natural curve lines of your body. Like out here, I have chosen a dress, okay, which itself is of an hourglass uh, shape. Okay, now if you have a look at the curve lines, it is creating more depth towards the waist and the curveness of your hips and the length of the dress is towards the, is ending right at the knee level. Now this itself is giving shape of your legs and the attire itself is following your natural curve lines. And even the shoulder, sorry, towards the shoulder, the neckline, if you see, now this is of slightly off shoulder design. Now this is again giving emphasis towards your upper half. Okay, so the formula out here is very simple. You just have to follow your natural curve lines. Now for Indian attire, I have chosen a sari and the sari is in such a way that there's a lot of ruffle designs happening at the end of the sari. Now, since you have a, your body shape itself has a lot of curved lines, now this ruffled line, ruffled designs at the end of the sari is creating all the more curvedness to your body. Okay, and if you have a look at the belt, sorry, the waist, the belt is tied in such a way that it's giving depth and definition towards your waist. So your hourglass shape is getting highlighted all the more. Okay, next we look into the example. Now there are two pictures. If you have a look at both the pictures, and if you see the second one, you see the illusion of hourglass is all the more in depth because of the garment itself. You're creating illusion with the help of attire what you're wearing, okay? The uh, depth towards the waist followed by, the, followed by the hip region, which is naturally curved because of the attire, it's standing out all the more. And the length of your dress is slightly longer than as compared to the first example. It is exactly ending towards your knee length. Okay, whereas if you see, there's not much of depth, the length of this dress is exactly uh, just one or two centimeters below, uh, above uh, knee level. Okay, now this is creating less definition, as in your body is getting less emphasized of being an hourglass body shape. Okay, so you can totally play around with the help of attire. Now, next we move on to the bonus tip. Bonus tip will, I'll be covering is for color, personality, and lifestyle. Now for color, uh, now since you all know, for the personal color would be your uh, warm coloring or cool coloring. Warm, your warm coloring will have a little bit of yellowness, a tint of yellowness to your skin tone. And cool coloring will have a tint of blue or pinkish blue tone to your natural skin tone. Now, depending upon your personal coloring, you have to choose your attire of either warm coloring or cool coloring. If you have a warm, uh, warm personal color, then you will choose a warm color tone, like for example, uh, yellow, red, orange, so on and so forth. And if you have a cool tone, then you will choose cool coloring, like lavender, blue, purple, so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, for dark and light color, as I've already explained to you, light color will help, if you choose an attire of light color, then light color will help the, the area of your body to even appear more larger, as in it will be highlighted all the more, and the emphasis will be given towards particular area of your body. If you choose a dark color, then if I have explained you for oval body shape, you can totally minimize the variations, which is around the body, particular body part. Now, what we meant by monochromatic, if you have a look at the second picture, okay, this is a perfect example for monochromatic color. Monochromatic means color of same family. Okay, so out here, uh, the peach color, it's darker in color. Okay, if you compare with trouser, it's slightly lighter. Now, monochromatic coloring will give illusion if you wear an uh, outfit 
which has a lot of monochromatic coloring. It will give an illusion of your body being lengthier or elongated than how it is in normal. Whereas if you see for contrasting color, like in the last example, uh, there are a lot of contrast of colors like blue, red, and yellow. Now contrasting color will not give such an illusion, okay? And it is mostly can be worn by uh, those individuals who are uh, of a good height and are slim. Contrast color will just fill the uh, area, the empty spaces, basically. Okay, so this was a uh, bonus tip number one for coloring. Now let's move on to uh, personalities. Now, depending upon personality, every individual will have different personalities. Like for example, out here, now, uh, if you know her, she, uh, her name is, uh, she's popularly known as Cher, she's, she's a singer, and she has such a personality that it's quite edgy, quite strong, okay? And whenever she goes into the crowd, everybody, like, it's quite, her personality is quite standing out. Everybody will be able to recognize that, yeah, such a person is present in the crowd, okay? So you have such personality present. At the same time, if you compare, she is of a classic personality because she likes styling like classic uh, solitaire uh, uh, stud, ear stud. She likes a little black dress or a red dress. Okay, so different personality, uh, there are different personalities for every individual. Okay, and out here, if you compare, we do have feminist personality also who likes uh, styles like rainbows, chocolates, hearts, red color. Uh, laces, bows, and uh, a bouquet. Okay, so this is perfectly normal. For each and every one, you do have different personality. Whereas if you compare, uh, there's another personality who likes the, his or her choice to be very close to the nature. Like your house will be made of wooden floor. There will be a lot of antique uh, furnitures or antique uh, decorative items. The uh, Carpets will be designed in such a way that it is made out of animal skin. Whereas on the other hand, uh, there are personalities who likes to style themselves in such a way that the clothes should be easy to wear and easy to wash. Okay, so for different personalities, you have uh, different, uh, sorry, for different individuals, you have different personalities and it is totally normal. You have to style yourself in such a way that your personality is getting reflected. Now this was bonus tip for personality. Now let's move on to lifestyle. For lifestyle, uh, let me just give you an example. Like for an individual, the maximum number of hours you're devoting your time is towards work. Whereas other times uh, in a week, if you're uh, devoting uh, half of your time to uh, say your grocery shopping, your get togethers, casual outings, and remaining time for at home stay, your wardrobe, will be consisting of clothes in such a way that out of 100%, at least 60% should be for uh, workwear, 20% for casual outing, and another remaining 20% should be for at-home stay. Now, since you're devoting maximum number of hours for work, you cannot be having only 30% of your clothing item only devoted for your workwear. You have to continuously repeat your clothing and uh, God knows in what condition will it be. Okay, so out here I will help you with the help of, an, I will help you with an example. Uh, I have chosen a classic white shirt for men. Now you can choose this uh, classic white shirt, both, you can wear it for both business wear and casual wear. If you have a look at casual wear, now classic white shirt has been teamed up with normal denim and sports shoes and other accessories like sunglasses and watch. On the other hand, if you see business for business wear, I'm teaming up with a corporate, uh, sorry, blazer and trouser, okay? And uh, followed by the tie, leather belt and leather shoes. Now you can wear it only for business wear. You cannot, if you're going for movies, then you cannot wear business wear for watching movies. You cannot wear business wear for having a casual outing with your friends. And at the same time, casual wear, you cannot wear it for meetings or conducting a webinar or having a client meet. 
okay so for every lifestyle your styling will also change accordingly so with this i have done with all the bonus tips and again let's look into the activity if you can identify her now she's a very famous uh, celebrity english celebrity you can identify her and write it in the chat box i'll give you exactly 10 seconds and and if anybody can identify i'm going to surely uh, send a prize money prize uh, prize item and uh, your 10 seconds starts now i personally like her uh, work and she's very famous and uh, yeah that is my hint for today so anybody in the chat box your 10 seconds have already started no she's not marilyn monroe <laughs> so this was a my guess uh, yeah but <laughs> so this was a photo of her teens like she was very young and uh, you will be shocked to see uh, right now who exactly we would be she would be yes she was is very tough yeah she is not hillary <laughs> but nice try yes anuradha anuradha has uh, chose uh, uh, guess the right answer so she is madonna anuradha after this you are going to send me your details i'm going to send your uh, the price it's already on the way okay so she is madonna a famous singer she is queen of pop popularly known as queen of pop and uh, if you have a look at her her styling got changed okay how she was during her teens era is not how she is as of now her personality got reflected she has a very strong edgy and a very dramatic personality okay and uh, moreover she is involved in an industry in a music industry which has a lot of creativity a lot of creativity is being involved so she has to portray her personality in such a way that it is coming out and she's all the more good at her work and uh, since uh, because of the lifestyle earlier she was just next door girl and right now she's a probably a billionaire okay so her lifestyle is has changed over the years so all the four factors if you see is definitely getting applied like the body shape color personality and lifestyle your uh, and all the four factors will change as per uh, your age like for me if i was in school i had a different uh, factors altogether and right now i have started going to office i've started conducting webinar so my the factors all the four factors will change so for different people as per your age and uh, the requirement your uh, styling will change definitely as per the four factors okay so with this i have come to the end of the presentation and i would like to end with a quote the secret of great style is to feel good in what you wear because you want to be confident and you want to feel good so styling is a way to portray to present yourself to the audience okay so anybody who has any concern can write in the chat box this is your favorite question and answer round okay and if anybody wants to again raise a query uh, these are my contact details it's my email id and phone number uh, you can contact me only for work purpose okay and uh, that's it that's the end of the presentation i would like to thank each and everyone for uh, attending today's webinar if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe to our channel you can also click the bell icon to get the latest video updates